As if you don't know, this is the messenger of God here coming to drop one for y'all today called Wonder Working Abilities. The ability to oversee minds before they make mistakes, visions to dream before it happens, to want a life. Figuring out is a social challenge. To know right away is a secret habit. The ability to have multiple personalities to characterize each disciple's wanting to speak. The ability to explain words and terms to stable, unbalanced, mislead tongues. Awaken the living that's there to the power when God raises his hand. The ability to translate Hebrew from every thorn that was planted in Jesus' head. The ability to feel pain but to delete the sin was the big picture that was cleansed by every drop of blood that fell from his head. To know and to understand pain before it occurs, you must be pure, upright with no fear to lead a herd. The ability to hold these lost parables is what Jesus gave a poor soul to free his land. The ability is not meant for greed, is to fill his children with hunger and need. The ability to risk all you gain to save a soul is the power and the blessing given back a billion fold. So behold this ability to accommodate what the world never given to my child. But when you understand this is worth more than the money, you will be sitting in my cloud. The ability to look past nothing behind. You shook my hand a billion times for each blessing is a story untold. You think you're human but I made you too strong. The ability of your voice is a viral wave, bold and captures a lady of rage. The sound of angels in the wind that will testify to penetrate is. Your ability will destroy yokes, evilness that's chaotic, creatures of filth that would be blocked by my knowledge. The ability to the unknown will take sides but will listen and witness my words out of your mouth. There's no turning back from this path. You have these abilities and I do accept. I travel by faith. There was a time and now I show my face above all thoughts, no need to race. I've already won and Jesus came in first place. And then remind you, I was given these words here to read to you. So whatever the Holy Spirit leads me to say, I'm going to say, you know, I remember having a dream where I did not see Jesus' face. Um, it was like I saw this white castle, this palace, and it was like everything was white, right? But it was like far back and I saw a gate. And it was like me and Jesus was walking on this little path, but it was like a bunch of paths going everywhere. But it was like we was walking and I was talking with my hands behind my back, but Jesus was like so tall, very, very, very tall that I couldn't even see how tall he was or his face. The only thing I know that I was walking with him. I just wanted to share that and I'm so thankful right now today that I have Jesus in my life because if it wasn't for him, I don't know where would I be. But if no one told you today that you guys are beautiful, let me tell you right now that you're beautiful. Just the way that you are. And I love you guys. So you guys be safe. All right. Later.